great people so this is me going to meet my husband we didn't have uh, plans for lunch but he said we should have lunch we had plans for dinner so anyway he had a surprise awaiting me and so he told me let's uh, just wind up work so let's meet at two in such and such a place uh, when we got there there was quite a big surprise because he had made reservations when there was nobody else in this particular restaurant that we like we often go for lunch there anyway he had a poem that he read for me there so let me read it for you so he said to my dear wife my heart's delight on this valentine's day and every night i cherish the love that we share and the life we've built with such care our years together with all our laurels too our family grows stronger and love continues to grow with each passing day, my love for you deepens and my admiration for you never lessens. You are the sunshine that brightens my day, the gentle breeze that helps me find my way. With you by my side, I feel so blessed and I know that together we'll weather any test. Upendo wangu kwako ni kama nyota, inanga na kuniongoza mbali. Wewe ni jua linalowasha roho yangu kunitoa kwenye giza na kunifanya kamili. So on this day and every day that follows, I promise to love you with all of my heart and soul. Thank you, my Olua Feishi Kemi, for being my partner, my wife, my best friend. Nakupenda sana, more than words could ever express, till the very end. Happy Valentine's Day. Wow. <laughs> I was so surprised. It was really cool. And it was very thoughtful of him because we didn't have plans. Anyway, we dug into the food. Our appetizer was uh, calamari. So we decided to just make it a seafood thing. So we had this uh, calamari and then... We had uh, naan garlic bread with cheese on top, with Nigerian style fried uh, fried rice with shrimp, and of course with some sh creamy shrimp. All my favorite things at once. So we didn't want to eat much because we still had dinner plans. <clears throat> so we had a really good time for a drink. I think he had, uh, I can't remember what he had, but for me I had a Chapman because uh, it was still the middle of a working day and both of us were still kind of on call as much as well, we were out. <laughs> so, I, I mean, um, this was really quite nice because I wasn't prepared for this at all at all. Anyway, so he said we needed to rush out because we needed to go somewhere. I was like, where? Because I thought after this, we'd just go home, uh, relax a bit, see the children, maybe shower and change. So when we're in the car, he's like, no, we're not going home. Uh, we need to make a quick stop somewhere. I say, okay, I'm here with you. Papi, let's go. <laughs> so this is, uh, the restaurant we were at was at VI. So this is us just leaving uh, VI. Uh, at least at this time, there wasn't much traffic. So we're now way to Lekki. So this is the civic center uh, that you see on the left. Uh, wow. So right ahead, can you see a blue vehicle? So that's lag ride. So uh, over and above, there being Uber and Bolt in Nigeria, there's also lag ride, which is... Um, uh, from the Lagos State, um, uh, I mean, uh, from Lagos State, and you know this ride is actually cheaper than Uber and Bolt. It's more comfortable, it's cleaner as you can see, and it's much much cheaper. But there are not as many. So this was a scheme for the state to actually create employment for its people because some t people have been complaining that uh, Uber and the, and uh, Bolt are quite expensive and not safe. You know all the complaints about Uber and Bolt even in Kenya. So on your right, there are those residences called uh, 1004. The reason they are called that is because there's 1004 of them. Uh, maybe later one day I'll come and show you that place. And people, those are not funny, funny looking apartments. They may look like that on the, on the, from the road. But inside they have uh, four bedrooms, uh, you know, uh, duplexes this side, you know, that kind of thing. There are some condos there. There are all sorts of, of, of whatever. Anyway, so we were apparently going to meet his friend who had just come back from uh, the U.S. So I didn't know why. But anyway, look at this mall. This is a local mall. And look at how much decoration they've just done for Valentine's, not even Christmas. This is just one day in the middle of a work day. Just look at all that decoration. <laughs> Nigerians don't play. <laughs> they celebrate everything. Even a one day event, see how much they've spent on just decorating the, the mall. And this is not a big mall. This is like a local mall in an estate, by the way. So it's not a major mall at all. But it has uh, some really cool stores still, you know. Uh, because of uh, this area, there's some, you know, people are, I mean, well, so there are some really cool stores here. 
so they i mean they'll do the effort because they know their clients so anyway so we get here i said let me just take a little bit of footage people are getting inside that place and yeah taking photos so anyway that was my gift there was not just a gift they were plenty plenty gifts i want to un unbox everything but uh, i really needed a new watch and that's my swagorski watch hmm. so anyway we spent a little time with a friend uh, this is the place we were at and then we had a little sundowner and then we went back home to shower and change i won't show you what i wore for tonight because <laughs> That was for, <laughs> we'll get there some days. So this was the place, had one or two cocktails, and there it says, hello, gorgeous, drink up. So I pray that you guys enjoy amazing love. So cheers to edifying love, not just on Valentine's, but always. Bye.